am Madhura. Welcome to madhurasrecipe.com developing a new taste. Today we will see how to prepare tofu tikka. Now I must say this is very healthy alternative for paneer tikka. It just tastes as good as paneer tikka. So let's do it. Well this is very simple. All we need to do is just combine yogurt with some spices and then marinate tofu along with some veggies in it. But we are gonna make little twist in this recipe to make this tikkas even more crispy and crunchy. So let's first begin with the process of marination. For this what here I have got is 3 quarter cups of thick yogurt. To that we are gonna add rest of the spices. First we are gonna add crushed black pepper. Next add in some ginger garlic paste. All the spices are to taste only so you can adjust them accordingly. Some red chilli powder. Coriander powder. About a teaspoon or so. Cumin powder. About half teaspoon. Some kasuri methi. Just take this kasuri methi between the palms of your hand and crush it. I just love the aroma of this kasuri methi. Wow. It smells so good. Now next goes in some salt just to taste. And now we need to combine all these spices really well with this yogurt. Just mix this up. Make sure to mix this up really well. There should not be any lumps of these dry spices. It should be like a very smooth paste. Now once all the spices are well mixed with this yogurt, next we're gonna put some tofu along with some veggies. Now here I'm using extra firm tofu and whenever we use extra firm tofu, always make sure that you drain out all excess water from it. If we don't drain out water, this tofu, when we cook it, this tofu will become soggy. Now. Uh, how we can drain out water it's very simple just wrap tofu with some paper towels or even with some kitchen towel and put some wet on it and leave it for about 30 minutes to one hour this is the best way to drain water from it now i have already drained water and uh, cut it into big cubes like this now always make sure to cut this tofu into big pieces so that when we put it in onto skewers it will not fall apart while baking it Let's add in all tofu and also I have got some veggies. I have some onion, green pepper and tomatoes which I have cut them onto cubes. This is really a colorful dish. Add all the veggies and just rub all the spices with hand. If you want, you can also make use of some spoon. Now once we combine all the spices thoroughly with tofu and veggies, let's cover this up. And leave it to rest for 30 minutes so that all the flavors will come together. Well, this tofu and vegetables has been sitting for 30 minutes. And now the most exciting part is to put them onto skewers. Now what here I have got is this wooden skewers. Whenever we make use of wooden skewers, always make sure to soak them in cold water for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And if you are using any metal skewers like steel skewers, always make sure to grease them with some oil. Now let's put all these pieces one by one onto the skewers. Mm, it smells so tempting. Now just take one skewer and put the veggie of your choice first. I am adding green pepper, then some onion, tomato and then tofu. Now be careful when you add tofu because this is so delicate, there are chances it may get break. Next, again, I'm gonna put green pepper. Well, this is the way it looks when we put all the veggies. Now, I'm gonna place them onto baking tray. 
this is basically pizza okay, which I have lined with some aluminum foil and greased with some oil here I have arranged all this tofu and vegetables together onto skewers and now it's a twist part now to give this tikkas really nice crust and crunch what we gonna do we gonna sprinkle just a little bit of corn flour over it now whether you make paneer tikka chicken tikka or even when you make tandoori chicken always make sure to sprinkle just a little bit of corn flour over it what it does it gives really nice crunch to this dish now here i have about a teaspoon of corn flour i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit over the stickers just a little bit sprinkle corn flour on all the tikkas from all the sides so flip this around and once we sprinkle corn flour also dissolve some oil on the top of it and now just to give it a restaurant style look or touch I'm gonna add just a few drops of red food color it is purely optional you may just leave adding this color and well here I have one this tikka with food color over it and uh, another one just a plain I didn't use any food color over it and this is the way how it looks now this is all ready to go in the oven and now bake this tikkas on 400 degree Fahrenheit for total about 25 to 30 minutes and after every 10 minutes we need to take this tray out flip this or turn this skewers so that uh, these vegetables and tofu will get cooked evenly from all the sides and now I'm gonna pop this on 400 degree Fahrenheit and I'm gonna check after 10 minutes all right i have baked this for 10 minutes on 400 degree fahrenheit now we're gonna just turn them over just turn them around so that it will get cooked evenly you may also drizzle some oil if required just like that and again pop this into oven all right i baked this tofu tikkas on 400 degree fahrenheit for total 30 minutes after 30 minutes i bake them on broil mode for just four minutes and they look just perfect you can see they have baked really well it has got really nice crust outside wow. and these veggies are also very well done let me take this into serving plate wow you can see get the texture of this tofu it has got really nice crust outside and these veggies are also well done and in fact it has got little bit smoky texture looks just awesome i'll just love this tofu tikkas let me grab a piece of it wow Mm. what a crust awesome this tofu tikkas goes well as an appetizer or starter or you can also serve this as a side dish with some rice or with some gravy i hope you have enjoyed watching today's video see you soon bye bye